Hi there. My name is Dean Persio, and uh, this will be a tutorial on how to do Halloween zombie makeup from regular household items. So I have a mixing board for paints. I have a spoon to mix, a plastic spoon. <clears throat> I also have four colors of Crayola washable paint. Okay, blue, red, white, and yellow. And uh, I have these makeup sticks for Halloween, um, as well as I have zombie contact lenses, a couple of mirrors, fake blood, white glue, pack of brushes and just for safety's sake some uh, skin color foundation. White aerosol hairspray. And what I'm going to do is uh, this will be a silent tutorial after I explain everything to begin with and then I'm going to go into a time-lapse video so you can pretty much see it all very quickly so it's not a video that drags on forever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to, I'm going to mix equal parts of blue, red, white, and yellow to make uh, the skin color uh, that's desired. Um, I'm going to have two different skin colors. One will be like a, a darker rotting flesh skin color, and uh, the other one will be an actual skin color that's, that, that'll match my skin color. Uh, and they're both going to be made with white glue. So when you use the white glue and the toilet paper on your skin, it'll, um, it'll more or less solidify or harden to, uh, to stick. Um, now, with that being said, I've already mixed some colors. Uh, so this is the death tone or the dead tone skin color. And this one over here is the, the uh, realistic skin tone color. And like I said, they're both done with glue. And that's to, uh, to ensure that the makeup and the toilet paper hardens so it doesn't slide off your face when you're sweating or in the rain. Because tonight, on Halloween, with me and the children, it's supposed to rain. And I'm not looking forward to that, but I am looking forward to Halloween because this is all about the kids. And uh, I really enjoy celebrating with the kids and dressing up because that is the fun of Halloween, is for the parents and the kids to get together and and uh, enjoy the time. It's not about the candy, really. It's about, for me, it's about dressing up and uh, scaring my kids or making them grossed out with my makeup effects. So here we go. I'm going to put the time lapse on and uh, hopefully you guys can learn something. Thank you for watching and uh, I hope uh, I hope this turns out good. Thank you. Oh, um, I almost forgot that if you're male or female with facial hair, <laughs> which doesn't happen very often, but I'm sure it's out there. Um, you're going to want to shave and not to put this product on any of your hair or beard because when you take it off, it's going to hurt like a pain. It's going to hurt like a son of a bitch and it's going to rip your hair out as well. So try not to put it anywhere where you have hair, uh, eyebrows, mustache, beard, sideburns. Try and put it on the clear skin and make sure you shave very closely because the if you have stubble it's going to be very hard to take off and uh, of course the paints are washable but the glue is it should peel off but nevertheless it's going to peel off with your your hair okay so uh, here we go and thank you for watching What we do after applying all that, layers of toilet paper and different colors of skin, color with paint and glue, we let it dry a little bit before we start painting the rest of the face. 
And what you want to do is you want to let it dry enough so when you put the uh, when you put the, the fake blood on, it's going to moisten everything up. And let's hope that it doesn't make it fall off. But uh, I think it looks pretty good. It's, it, it's pretty much uh, you know peeling skin, you know rotting skin. I wish I could do it more, but I've I have gotten my hair here, there, and everywhere, and it's going to kill like a son of a bitch to take it off later, but I wish I could put more places, but I mean, just to get the point across that I'm dead. <laughs> That's good enough. So maybe I'll start to do a little bit on my nose or something, maybe. No, maybe not my nose. I think that's good enough. Anyways, I'll come back after it dries a bit and I'll continue the tutorial with the uh, coloring, okay? Thanks for watching, I'll talk to you soon. All right, so it's dried off a little bit. It gets a little bit uh, cracky when it dries, but hopefully it's gonna stick on. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do another time-lapse video. I'm gonna start to color the inside of the wounds and uh, around my eyes and, and mouth and lips. Uh, try and get myself a little bit more of a dead tone. Okay, so here we go. So, it's not perfect, and I kind of have a little bit of red around my eyes, nose, and mouth, a little bit grayish white, blending into the skin color. It's uh, definitely not perfect, but <clears throat> it sure isn't bad for toilet paper. You got to keep your face still enough because uh, it does harden and it does crack. But uh, that's all right. Because by the end of the night, if it starts falling off, <laughs> that's part of the character, right? <laughs> Anyways, so as you can see, it's not perfect, but like I said, it's good enough for me. Kind of looks a little bit gross. That's the whole point. Now what you're gonna wanna do before you start administering the blood and the cuts, which is this stuff here. You want to administer it with either a syringe or an eyedropper to uh, do it slowly so you don't make a big mess. But you want to put your um, your clothing on first, uh, your zombie clothing, because when it drips down, first of all, you don't want to make a mess. And second of all, you don't want to put it on your good clothes. So you want to go wear your costume. So when it drips down, it'll drip onto your costume and it'll even, it'll even make it look more more authentic. So, <clears throat> I think I need to go darker with my eyes, quite possibly. Anyways, uh, I've got dressed and then uh, I'll start administering the blood. So here I am again, I just put my shirt and pants on, I kind of messed it up a little bit. You know, I have to say that last year's makeup was a lot better than this year, but anyways, I put this shirt on, it's kind of ripped and tattered, and I have a pair of pants that that I've ripped up as well on the legs to give the effect of walking around dead. And uh, now I'm going to do the blood. Let's see if this turns out okay. I don't know. You will see. It's kind of a thing, I guess. You know. Not sure how it's going to go.
from my mouth. on the other side. I'm thinking that this blood is going to cover up some of the imperfections. That's the thing about a zombie, you can have as much blood as you want, and it'll still look good. This corner of the eye here. putting this stuff in my eyes by accident. From the nose. And from the other nose. Zombies bleed, right? But when they were dying, they bled. So, I don't want to be too much.
Now, do you think that's too much? And there you have it. So I'll put my contacts in and my teeth, and then uh, I'll come back out and film it. And then maybe a hat to cover up my. Oh no, we'll do a white hairspray here. And there you have it. Actually, maybe I should have more blood underneath this wound over here. Anyways, there you have it. So, um, I'll come back with my contacts on and a hat and my teeth and try to scare you. So, the teeth didn't work. Can't use the teeth. But uh, the contacts are still good. And that's my costume. Hope everybody enjoyed the tutorial. off the look. Gotta find a hat. Of course, kids take all the stuff. I can't find it.